For the second year, the North Carolina Association of Educators, the NCAE, is planning a rally and protest at the General Assembly that has already resulted in multiple school district cancellations of the school day. Organizers are calling for more pay, as well as the expansion of Medicaid in North Carolina, and several other things as well. But our next guest says that union activists are actually drowning out serious concerns of dedicated teachers, parents, and kids. Terry Stoops is the John Locke Foundation's Vice President for Research, also the Director of Education Studies. Terry, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Who are these activists? Uh, give us a sense of uh, who populates the NCAE, and do they have um, allied groups with them? Yeah, this is a group of activist teachers that are mainly centered around the North Carolina Association of Educators, which is the state affiliate to the National Education Association, the largest teacher union here in the United States. And these are a, a small group of teachers, mainly from urban counties and suburban counties that believe that North Carolina teachers need to be uh, unionized, essentially. And so this is a step toward trying to unionize the teacher workforce. Um, uh, they are trying to use social media to get as many protesters here on the May 1st event in North Carolina with the ultimate goal of uh, convincing legislators sometime in the future to allow them to have collective bargaining rights and other things that traditional unions have. We had a similar episode last year that a protest, a rally, we had school days um, shut down across the state. You had a, a massive gathering in Raleigh, and it ended up in um, a teacher pay raise. So from the perspective of those activists, that was pretty successful. Are they trying to build on that? Well, they are trying to build off of last year's May 16th event. Uh, they changed a few things up this year. Number one, they decided to uh, have a different agenda. Going in, they were rather disorganized when they were asked what they wanted because they wanted higher teacher pay and they were going to get higher teacher pay. The Republicans had already announced before the event that they were going to get higher pay. But there was also some rhetoric by Mark Jewell, the head of the NCAE, ahead of that May 16th event last year where he was talking about getting rid of the Republicans in the General Assembly, getting having new people get in charge. We're not hearing that si same kind of rhetoric here in the May 1st event that is coming up. Uh, they are a little more focused on so their five policy priorities rather than talking about the political goals that they most certainly have behind the scenes but are less explicit about in public. Teacher pay seems to be number one on the list. Now we know that uh, you mentioned that last time around, last year, the Republicans who um, had the majority in the legislature had already determined and built in a teacher pay raise um, into the budget. That I believe was the fifth pay raise in a row for teachers. Mm -hmm. So now the activists are saying that they want a sixth? That's right, and they're going to get it. I mean, there is going to be a teacher pay raise. The Republicans have already made that promise. We just don't know what kind of pay raise it's going to be. We don't know how much money is going to be set aside or what percentage that pay increase is going to be or how it's going to be distributed. But Republicans have already made clear that they are going to raise teacher pay. This will be the sec sixth consecutive teacher pay raise. Uh, that doesn't include the increases in total compensation, the health care costs that have been going up that Republicans have paid for, and the increase in the pension contributions that Republicans have always uh, been very uh, faithful about providing. Terry, you mentioned that there is a list, essentially five uh, key planks that the activists and the folks who are going to be marching and protesting have said are their their core uh, requirements, so to speak. And there is are several of them that are kind of head scratchers to me because they don't really relate to education, one of them being Medicaid expansion. Yeah, their reasoning here with uh, their uh, demand that the General Assembly increase Medicaid is that it will provide uh, healthier adults, which will then provide uh, the means for children to have, be in healthier homes and therefore increase student achievement. It's a roundabout sort of uh, reasoning here that is, uh, you know, something that uh, probably doesn't belong on their list of five demands, uh, but is consistent with some of the Democratic Party platform in which they're getting some of their policy ideas from. So I see this less as a, an education policy, as a nod to the uh, Democratic wing, uh, the, the Democratic inspiration 
uh, for their uh, policy ideas and for their policy prescriptions. Terry, this uh, is a probably going to be a very large gathering. Interesting that at least as of the time that, that you and I are talking about this, it is scheduled for May 1st. We've seen the superintendent of public instruction, Mark Johnson, try to urge the activists to not do this on a school day. He's asking them to do it on a day when they would normally be off because we already have seen announcements from multiple public school districts in the state. They're going to have to shut down school because there won't be enough teachers. That's right. And I give uh, Mark Johnson all the credit in the world for standing against some of these radical teachers and talking about the fact that this needs to happen on a non-instructional day. One thing to remember is that uh, we had schools because of Hurricane Florence that were out for weeks. They didn't have class for weeks and they're still catching up in anticipation of state testing that happens in May and June. If these kids uh, lose a day, just weeks before they encounter state testing, that's going to be significant uh, and even more significant for the low-income kids in these Hurricane Florence-affected counties. So this is uh, a a serious matter. It's an academic matter, and frankly, the fact that they're willing to have this in the middle of an instructional week uh, suggests that they don't really have the children's best interests at heart. They're not really thinking about the fact that it is significant to lose an instructional day. Instead, they believe that they can bolt from their jobs on a Wednesday uh, and have school canceled uh, so that they can come to Raleigh uh, to wear red and to flash uh, signs in front of legislators hoping that uh, that they will uh, adopt a list of uh, policy prescriptions uh, that they have uh, advanced in their uh, social media campaigns. Terry, what you've described, and, and as we've discussed, the, the planks that, that the organizers of the protest have put out, it sounds more like a worker rights movement, a worker rights action, versus talking about student achievement, how can we work together to try to um, help North Carolina's kids. I know that you've been putting together a more student-focused agenda because you and others are concerned that the activists are going to drown out some real issues that we could be working together on. That's exactly right. Uh, Student achievement should be the primary concern. We have uh, relatively low percentages of students that are uh, proficient, especially our our students of color that are proficient in reading and math. These should be the focus. Uh, If anything, we should have a list of agenda items that are focused on raising student achievement. That should be our sole focus. And instead, if you look at the list of demands for this May 1st March, you don't see students appearing. Uh, much. You, d- you have to stretch to find a way that student performance increased if, we, uh, if the General Assembly would uh, adopt any of the five planks for their demands. Uh, and that should be really be what we need to think about when we talk about um, what teachers need to be doing. Uh, they need to be in class, focused on student achievement. They shouldn't be trying to cancel class so that they can come to Raleigh for a walkout.